I urge everyone to pay attention to what I'm saying. Please, please, please do not do any of these following things. If you're already doing it, first of all, do not heat honey. It's poisonous. Milk is not compatible with most of the things that we mix it with. Milkshakes like apple milkshake, banana milkshake, berry milkshake, smoothies, they're all poisonous. Fruits is not dessert. Fruit should not be mixed with milk. Fruit should not be mixed with your vegetable salad. Fruit should definitely not be mixed with your grains like your oats and berries that people make nowadays for Instagram. Not at all cool. Banana with milk is a poisonous combination. Please don't give them banana milkshakes. I beg of you, it is not healthy at all. Hi guys, so I know it's a new day and we're all taking it one breath at a time. I think it's a time to just control your controllables, right? Take one day at a time. Don't overthink any process. And today I am doing a live with um, one of my teachers, my Ayurveda teachers. And uh, her name is Dimple Jangra. And uh, just being an Ayurveda practitioner, uh, though at very, very early stages, because I don't think uh, I am... A, I'm, I'm qualified or uh, I'm just like literally a student um, who's just right about at the start line but um, having practicing baby steps for the for the last couple of years and after doing her course um, it has tremendously helped me I was somebody who would get a lot of acid reflux um, and you know a lot of acidity if I didn't eat every two hours and stuff so one regulating my food habits and second is doing simple practices has led um, to a lot of benefits um, second practice that I learned from her which was about not mixing milk and salt together uh, so I, I tried to um, incorporate that that was a very very easy change hi hi there how are you very well. I was just telling them about, before you join in, about uh, my, my session with you and how I immensely benefited uh, from it. Though I still feel like I'm at the starting line of it uh, and the journey is really long. But even doing that five-day deep dive was a great, uh, great, great eye-opener for me. You know, the biggest step is the first step. Yeah. You've taken the first step, you're inspired, and you are right now doing everything you can to inspire others. That's Thank you. Virut Ahar. And, uh, you know, this is something that if you can elaborate on for, uh, for you know, what are the common day-to-day -day, uh, Virut Ahars that you have seen, uh, which can, which are easy to correct, right? Like you said, milk and fruits or uh, fruits and, you know, something else. Like, what are the common ones that people can easily change around? I urge everyone to pay attention to what I'm saying. Please, please, please do not do any of these following things if you're already doing it. First of all, do not heat honey. It's poisonous. Honey, when heated, becomes like a thick, gluey like substance, like a glue, which is inedible and it causes constriction of your digestive passages and leads to accumulation of ama, poison, or toxins in the body. Do not heat honey. Do not put it in hot water above 40 degrees Celsius. Uh, do not put it in your cakes and cookies and your black teas and green teas and black coffees. No, it's not a sweetener. Honey is medicine, not food. Do not abuse it. That's rule number one. Rule number two, milk. Milk is not compatible with most of the things that we mix it with. Milkshakes like apple milkshake, banana milkshake, berry milkshake, smoothies, they're all poisonous. It feels good because it looks beautiful. But trust me, Within a few weeks or months, I've had these patients who adhere to smoothies on an every single day basis, these yogis especially, come to me with chronic skin diseases. And they have no idea where it's coming from. They're like, I do yoga for four to six hours a day, yet I have. I said, maybe because excess of it, you're triggering vata imbalance. So do not mix milk with any kind of food, with the exception of mango, then carrot. Carrot ka halwa can be made, but in that case, there's a very specific preparation. The milk has to be heated first and add it to the final mixture while stirring continuously, okay? Milk can be mixed with avocado to put on weight. Milk can be mixed with garlic to help reduce body pain, but that's a medicine. It causes nausea, so have it only if you have chronic body pain. Boiling a pot of garlic in a glass of milk can help you release pain. Then milk can also be mixed with all kinds of spices like cinnamon, cardamom, clove, ginger powder, star anise, turmeric, ghee, those yes. All other fruits and vegetables is a strict no. Then another thing is fruits. Eat it alone or leave it alone. It's a very easy way to remember. If you're going to have fruits, have only fruits. Wait for one hour and then eat your breakfast or your lunch or your dinner. It's always one hour before a solid meal. Never eat fruits after a solid meal because your solid meal requires about three to six hours or 12 hours sometimes for digestion. If you're going to eat fruits, it's going to push 
the undigested food into the intestine and thus cause gases, bloating, indigestion, flatulence, headaches, migraines because of indigestion also. Fruits is not dessert. Fruits should not be mixed with milk. Fruits should not be mixed with your vegetable salad. Fruits should definitely not be mixed with your grains like your oats and berries that people make nowadays for Instagram. Not at all fruit. And fruits with meat is actually toxic and poisonous. So if you're having meat and then you have a bowl of fruits thinking you're making do, you know, balancing your meal, you're not. You're actually creating a poisonous combination inside your body. So these are some right. basic rules to begin with. And up to, you know, you can go deeper into Ayurveda. Even fruits and salads is a It is. It is a, it's a bad combination. You know, there are a lot of salad bars that have opened up and I myself have gone to them. And after this, they'll have like a, you know, plate of vegetable salad with some fruits on the top, like pomegranate or maybe orange on the top or maybe a few pieces of apple as a yeah. sweetener. They think they're bribing you by putting a few pieces of sweet apple over a salad that is supposed to be astringent or bitter or pungent. Now, when you have a salad with like, you know, baby spinach, rocket, celery, cilantro, curry leaves, moringa, it's not supposed to be pleasant. The salad is supposed to have a distinct taste. It's either salty, it is a bitter or it is pungent. Pungent is spicy, salty or bitter. These are the three tastes for vegetables. Fruits on the other hand are sweet, sour and astringent. These three are different tastes, right? Fruits is a different taste altogether. Vegetables is a different yeah. taste. Vegetables require two hours in the stomach, two hours in the small intestine, two hours in the large intestine. Fruits require one hour in the stomach, one hour in the small intestine, one hour in the large intestine. So they definitely don't mix. And putting them together in your smoothie is even worse. I see a lot of people making a green smoothie and adding an apple as a sweetener. That's really bad. It's, you better add sugar than apple because that's a toxic combination. Even though sugar is far more dangerous as a drug, it's less dangerous than an apple mixed with your vegetable smoothie. So definitely don't mix fruits with vegetables. Within a few hours of eating that, you'll notice a little different. We've also got somebody asking on banana and spinach uh, smoothie and weight gain smoothies for children especially. Uh, so if you can address that. Banana with milk is a poisonous combination please don't give them banana milkshakes i beg of you it is not healthy at all your child might enjoy it now but in the long run it is going to affect their health and immune system banana with spinach doesn't go at all doesn't go at all please give them spinach soup in the evening with carrot and beetroot with lots of spices in it and give them two bananas to eat it raw if you really want your child to put on weight early in the morning give them five almonds pre-soaked overnight peel it and give them five almonds give them one date pre-soaked overnight again with the water. You know, date when it's soaked overnight becomes nice and sticky. It helps in building tissues. You can also give them figs, raisins. They also help in putting on weight. Give them a big bowl of mangoes during the summer season. Mangoes also help in putting on weight. Avocados with bread for evening snack is great. Give them two glasses of milk. One glass in the morning, one glass at bedtime. Then uh, give them two bananas when they're uh, playing around with their kids, you know, other friends. But give foods separately don't make because it makes your life easy it, it it's not pretty uh to put on weight you can also give them avocado milkshake avocado is the only other fruit vegetable that mixes with milk mango mixes with milk avocados mix with milk no other fruit so banana spinach is out of question mm -hmm.